Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Hive Mind After Hours podcast. Back with another episode. Derek is back this time. All four of us are here, and today we have uh, Kaylee and Micket of Rivals to ch- chat with. How are you all feeling tonight? Tired. Yeah, that's a common yeah. theme among all yeah. of us. <laughs> I I literally spent all day uh, we're recording this on a Sunday I literally spent all day in bed until like 4 or 5pm yeah that's the move I woke up from a nap about 30 minutes ago so (laughs) (laughs) hello hello Hello? Hello? you good what just happened that was so weird it just like would not let me talk it was just like well I guess this is it all right, well, I'm, on your downfall. I'm, I'm glad that the microphone worked for the five minutes before we started recording the episode. <laughs> right. yeah. You started, you you're like, hey, this, you're like, this is blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, just absolutely nothing. I was like, I'm not even moving. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's like my life when it comes to like our band meetings, for some reason. <laughs> just never, never able to talk. Imagine things ever going well. Yeah, right. <laughs> Imagine that. What a concept. Oh, wait, do you? Are we starting over? Or are we coming? No, no, we're, we're, we're going. Right. We're full. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. What's up, everybody? We're we're rivals. We're from Los Angeles, California. Woo! <laughs> All right. So before we get into the episode, do you guys have any socials that you want to show before we get into? Yeah, the meat check of the us episode? out on on Instagram, the old TikTok, Facebook. It's all at we are BLS. We are rivals without the vowels. Oh, we're mediocrely cool. <laughs> <laughs> us too, us too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, average. I feel like, I feel like exactly. mediocre is maybe even a bit of a compliment. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I think there's a fine line between you know yourself, being humble and self-deprecation, you know, Jake. I don't want you to cross that real quick. Uh, put, some, put some respect on your name. Uh, that's you, I should have told me, you should have told me that a few years ago. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Let, let's let's start talking about it. Uh, first things first. You guys released a new song, "Dark Matter," last month, and yeah. the song's kind of been popping off. It is a little. It, it's kind of been popping off. So I guess let's just start with like going into releasing "Dark Matter." Uh, mm-hmm. Like, what, what was what was the writing process like? And like, th- this is the first song that you guys are releasing fully independent after the two albums. Yeah. So right. I don't know, just like the expectations and like anticipation of like the first song, and then I guess yeah. everything that's happened so, after. So we had two ch- songs to choose from. We had Dark Matter, and then another song that we're probably going to release eventually. Um, we wrote them both at the same time. Dark Matter is about being a bad Mitch, and the other one I wrote about having a threesome. So you'll hear that one eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, you know, woo. at first like, I try to steal the girl's guy, and then I'm like, wait a second, actually, you're both pretty fucking hot. Let's just fuck. So that's like the idea of the song. Um, you know, uh, artistic. I was going to say, you know, what's funny about this one is that uh, when we were in the studio, Kaylee was like, hey, I really like this one song that I've been listening to. We should do something like this. And John Espy, uh, who is our producer, and we end up working with him a lot, um, he looked at me and he's like, hey, hit me with a guitar riff. And that's that first guitar riff within, you know, I think it was like 10 seconds. We just did. Yeah. Yep. That was it. Um, I it just say worked. We, did, we didn't just know worked. what we had. <laughs> we did not <laughs> know what we had. I'm not um, sure we do, but. Yeah, we don't know what we had. Uh, we still don't. I don't even know what's happening. Um, uh, yeah. So essentially it was, it was, um, usually it's typically me, Mick it and John, um, that write together. Um, and, Actually, uh, Dark Matter, we had everyone there. It was Josh, Seb, Mickett, me, and John. So it was like we had the whole band there, which doesn't happen as often as, as I would like, but that's how life happens. Um, and we were literally all there. We all wrote. We all, um, it was the first time, well, not the first time, but first time in a while we'd all written a song together. Um, and I, I will be honest, I, uh, we wrote it and I was like, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, I guess. It's all right. It's cool. Um, you know, well, I know it'd be way cooler than that later. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, I was like, I don't make it. Do you have any more additions? Nope, that's that's how that song went. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then right after that, we wrote a song about having three songs. So, 
<laughs> Things you I'm... can do independently. <laughs> right? <laughs> Have three sips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could have never done this. I could have never had a threesome with a label. God. (laughs) Well, I don't know. The label kind of fucks you all the time. So (laughs) to be fair, they want to do that all for themselves. They don't want to. Right. (laughs) To be fair, we kind of really lucked out with Smart Punk. They kind of, uh, they're, they're great. They're wonderful. Like so wonderful. But, um, you know, independent life, I just felt was more appropriate for us. Yeah. She's, on, like smart punk is actually was kind of a, a blessing when it came it was like they were really different from all the stories that i had heard about you know like other labels and whatnot so it was nice to just be like oh okay let's just be actual friends yeah <laughs> that's nice like i could i could text like the, okay so low-key so this is a random story but we got something because we showed the we showed the owner of smart punk pterodactyl porn um because you know we're adults <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. as adults like, do hey, we're like, hey, you're do- you're like thinking about investing like tens of thousands of dollars in us. Like, here's pterodactyl porn. And he was like, fucking yeah, you're soft. <laughs> <laughs> the only like, natural shout response to pterodactyl porn. Yeah, shout, shout, like, shout, right? out to, shout out to Grant. That was good. He's great. <laughs> shout out Grant. Shout out pterodactyl porn. You know how it goes. <laughs> so, is that, are we going to expect a song about pterodactyl porn then? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's about that threesome. Yes. <laughs> if y'all don't change the next, <laughs> yeah, that, that's one for the algorithm. Here's our next single, pterodactyl porn. Yeah. You you've heard of furries? Well, guess what? Here's scalies. Yeah. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> oh yeah. I I'm seeing the artistic vision. It's playing out in my head. I'm loving this. Everybody has beaks. <laughs> but, but in their faces. It's but like. <laughs> It's like Slipknot, and they've all got masks, but instead you guys just all have, like, the big pterodactyl beaks, you know? You come out. Yeah, but, yeah, but like, make it said, they're, like, not on our face. <laughs> <laughs> that can make for an interesting music video. Ooh. Actually, make it. Right, make it. Write it down. Write it down. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah. I'm not saying you have to. All I'm saying is it can make for an interesting music video. <laughs> I'm seeing it, it in my head. Did you write it down? Oh, I've already started producing it. Oh, okay, good, good. Great. Good. It, you know, the domino effect of signing to a record label with pterodactyl porn leading to dark matter. Yes, it did, yeah. It led. It definitely led into it, for sure. Uh, it... So, Anyways. I guess... Yeah, speaking <laughs> speaking kind of... As, as much as one could segue from pterodactyl porn, right? You know, but... Talking about the label and, you know, subsequently being independent, how does it feel? Like, obviously, there's a lot more creative freedom, but is there any other, you know, benefits or unexpected perks or changes that you weren't really anticipating? I mean, we kind of like, like we said, we kind of really lucked out with Smart, like, with Smart Punk. We could kind of do whatever we wanted, whenever mm-hmm. we wanted. There was like no, like, like, there was, they were never like, you can't do that. Like, the extent of them saying you couldn't do that was more of like a time frame thing because of like playlisting mm. and stuff rather than like anything else. Right. Um, yeah. But I will say the difference in like feeling independent or being independent, not feeling I am independent, <laughs> um, <laughs> is uh, is it's like you you know you have no backbone now, so it's like it's all on you. Like mm. you 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 are all you have, so it's like if you don't make it work, well, fuck, that's on you. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's, sorry, that's I'm, interesting. I feel like a lot of yeah, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Um, sorry, I, I'm like literally in the car giving directions. So I'm like, <laughs> left, right, straight. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, overall, though, like, for the most part, like, it feels pretty the same. I mean, we still kind of work with the same team. We still have the same PR agent. Um, mm. We recently got a new manager, uh, which we didn't have one for many, many years. It was just kind of uh, me kind of running the running it. Um but yeah, um, it's pretty similar. I mean, make it. Do you have any um, additions to that? <laughs> no. <laughs> guess no. Can, guess I guess fucking. Guess No. <laughs> you might have. I think you might have. Uh, maybe he's making making waffles. I don't know. You know, he could be making. I would respect that. There's nothing better to do at 7:30 when you're tired than make waffles. If you haven't hit the late night waffles, the late night like Waffle House run, you haven't lived. I'm a firm believer in that. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Solid, solid, solid content right here. Can, can you guys hear me now? Yes, oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Never mind, he wasn't at Waffle House. Imagine technology working. What a concept. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. I was talking it and happened. you guys just kept talking. <laughs> it happened to That's me, cool. I know. Uh, what I was trying to say was, uh, no, she pretty much hit the nail on the head uh, with that. It's kind of just... Like, there's nobody to, like, you know, hold you up by your butt, but, like, that's it, really. Hold you up by your butt? <laughs> I'm stealing that one. I'm taking that. Yeah. I like that. That's this a constant like a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you, gotta, when you gotta climb that wall, and someone helps you, and they gotta push you by your butt? Like, that's, you know. Ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. I love that. <laughs> I'm keeping that one. Now, I'm writing. I'm actually. You know what? He, Nick gets writing some stuff down. I'm writing that one down. Yeah. Oh my, yeah. Pen and pen and paper. Quick. It's you it's pen a, down. It's in production. This is a fantastic trade deal. <laughs> yeah, you should make a music video about being held up by your butt. <laughs> <laughs> this is a whole video of you almost falling from somebody dropping yeah. you. We could have like a crossover event and having me being like picked up by my butt by a pterodactyl. You know. Ooh, that I sounds I, cool. This is the content I love. <laughs> We're venturing into Jurassic Park territory very quickly. Yeah. I hope I hope anyone that I listens to this episode is like, content with everything. How did that's we going get on. here? <laughs> I hope that I hope that this is what anyone that's listening to this expected. Yeah, and no, absolutely. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm here what, and I don't even know what's fair. going on. I blacked yeah, out for I'm, a second. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair, if anybody who's listening to this knows us, this is exactly how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the energy I was expecting. We're, we're, I mean, here, we we're are... here for the chaos. We're here for it. Yeah. I think, casual. I think I, I expected this after, because I saw you guys live in 2019 on that Tillion tour in Richmond. Ooh, and what a chaos bomb. <laughs> I, once you told the entire crowd to put their middle fingers up to your ex for one of the songs, I was like, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I know the vibes. I know what's going on. <laughs> We like to keep the energy chaotic. Exactly. I guess we could, we could talk about the recent tour that you guys did, the Dark yeah. Matter tour. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. How how was that experience? Because obviously that's the first tour since going independent as well. So I don't know if that affects like the support that you have for touring, but. Uh, not, I mean, not really. Uh, labels don't really have too much in regards to touring. They don't. That's like sometimes. I mean, you might get one occasionally, but. For the most part, that's not necessarily a label thing. Uh, at least not for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but um, uh, what was the question? <laughs> uh, the, the Dark Matter tour, I guess. Oh, I guess it was also like probably like one of the first tours that you guys did post-COVID as well. Yeah, it was, it was a second, second one. We did a routing. Yeah, I was going to say, we did a routing one out to Furnace Fest. Like some we had booked like way prior to COVID. Like, we booked that, like, beginning of 2019, so it had been planned for a hot minute. Um, yeah. So that was just kind of like, a, like, hey, we need to get out there, so let's figure that out kind of scenario. Um, this was, like, the first, like, tour tour we did, um, and it was great. It was fucking wonderful. We had um, Ashland out with us, and they're wonderful people, and then we brought out um, Josh Lambert, who does, like, pop rockish geek and uh, um, solo stuff, and um, so wonderful. His whole team's great, and... Um, with Ethan Kakutsky from Shameless with us. He was also a wonderful, cool guy. Um, yeah, it was great. I mean, it was a good tour. Good turnouts, good vibe. We made a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> That's obviously a plus. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, after a bunch of years, not making money. <laughs> oh, she's a. Did I. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if Discord worked, I'd be more surprised than not. You know. To be. Fair, <laughs> no. Crazy is that she doesn't know she's doing it. No, uh, not at all. Not at all. She thinks we can understand her. Discord at this point. This is the new song. That's a great point. Song. Yeah. Facts. I think you clip that and remix it in post production. <laughs> uh. Got the lead vocalist of Rivals, uh, Optimus Prime. <laughs> um, a big red bar. Your connection is struggling. Oh, oh, <laughs> I can hear you again. Ironically oh, enough, I that's the one tell. that came through. Yeah. 
It, just says, it says, oh, no, a big red bar. Your connection yeah. is struggling. <laughs> Same red bar. Same. So she was. So she was hiding on this planet, uh, you know, as a Decepticon and right. now given away. So <laughs> unmasked. Um, yeah, look at me. I'm a pterodactyl. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, is it is it an Optimus Prime or a pterodactyl? The world needs to know. Why not both? Why, wait, not, wait, why, wait, not, why not both? I mean, if, hold on. To be fair, if I'm a transformer, I could definitely transform into a pterodactyl. So please do not hurt me. True. Do you guys remember sick. Beast Wars? Yes. What? They, yeah. Mickey, you're aging yourself. Stop. <laughs> nah, even, Beast Wars is tight. Everybody else is out on it. No, Transformers is my shit. Although I feel like part of it is like as a transformer you're supposed to hide in plain sight when you're not in your transformer mode right so it's like you can't really hide in plain yeah, sight so as like pterodactyl. a pterodactyl right like <laughs> speak speak for your fucking self <laughs> yeah you're just you're just built different right that's my bad, yeah, you... that's my bad. <laughs> okay <laughs> Go, going <laughs> Imagine, imagine Kaylee as a pterodactyl dressing like a person trying to hide in plain sight. <laughs> I don't think I can imagine. I, 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 I think we've, I think we've crossed a line of what's imaginable. Just a pterodactyl on a top. I'm just, yeah, I was gonna say I'm just a pterodactyl. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Good try. Good try. We had her. We had her. We've lost her. Fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> and of course that's what picks up yep that's yeah. the one that comes Ooh, through <laughs> that's the creepiest laugh ever <laughs> it's, it's vaguely there but it's also robotic got me fucked up yeah this is like like a, like a poltergeist thing where someone's yeah. laughing to the TV. <laughs> can you can you guys can you guys hear me yep yes, yes. for now yes ask me ask Okay, hold on. Ask make it a question. Don't ask me. I'm home in literally two minutes. Just ask okay. make it questions. Okay, I'm here. What's up, Teradak? All right. Let's uh, going back to tour. <laughs> what is it? What is it like being away from like friends and family for extended periods of time on tour? Um, it's it's a little tough sometimes. Um, but. You know, one of those age old sayings, uh, what is it? Distance makes the heart grow fonder or something like that. Yeah. That, that yeah. sounds familiar. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know it specifically. I wasn't there when it was made, but you know, like, uh, but I also tell everybody and I literally tell everybody this, uh, if you ever get a chance to go on tour, do it. Um, you are what I, what I assume uh, what I what I uh, I guess equate to as a real life adventurer, like this is like what's left of the idea of adventure, because especially you know with with family being home and friends being home and and all the other things that you deal with at home, you know like work and bills and stuff like that, like it's tight. I mean, like once you get a handle on it, you know, and I guess you're rich, like then whatever. But like you know, for the rest of us, like it's just the same thing over and over again and yeah. tour is so like granted i guess technically we do the same thing every day we you know get out of the van but it's got like a, a time window to it like you're going out for a couple weeks or whatever and then it's over yeah yeah, yeah. um but it's like you know we technically do the same thing every day but it's like that same thing is nothing alike every single day you know um with someone I can like low key hear someone trying to talk. It's it's, it's me. It's my <laughs> She's got it. Yep, goodbye, Optimus. Can you talk to me? Is that you? I can't I can't hear the horror movie. I can't hear I can't hear that properly through the pterodactyl mask. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the beginning of a horror movie, Wait, you know. I'm all, I'm, hold, on. I'm, hold on, I'm on the Wi-Fi. We're good. <laughs> Welcome to the Wi-Fi. Can you hear I me? Hope you enjoy your stay. Yeah, yes, I have made it. <laughs> Congratulations. I was scared for you for a second there, babe. I don't think you could have pulled any closer to this car. 
<laughs> She's definitely not talking to us now. <laughs> no. I, I, for a second there, I was like, oh, <laughs> take me to dinner first. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i'm back let's go what are we talking about make it being sad okay he's going i'm sad i'm on tour uh, <laughs> <laughs> Funny, i could hear i could hear all y'all talk but i couldn't like i was like every time i tried to talk to it, it was like robot. yeah it was just not not it's just not, not working but we're good now we got the weefy. yeah we got the weefy. we're good um but uh but yeah like if you ever get a chance to take a really long trip like don't get me wrong you're gonna miss everybody for a little while but get it yeah i agree and like getting to see things that like most people like would take an entire lifetime to see like we've seen the freaking united states nine times over yeah you know like i've seen it enough times to never want to see it again (laughs) (laughs) just get up just get up and leave (laughs) just fucking i've toured too many times i'm going to europe (laughs) five mine tour let's do it I was like, did you just fucking scoff at me? What, you're 1832? He's like, he's like. It was more of a a laugh. It was like a, I don't know. Don't defend him. He needs needs to be held accountable for his scoff. Jacob, why are you defending him? You're Canadian. You're not even in the U.S. (laughs) I was the one who did it. (laughs) (laughs) So now you, now even worse, you Canadian scoffed at me? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a Canadian scoff. It's like, like, Americans, right? You you get it. He's breaking his nice Canadian character to scoff. That's fucked. Yeah, that's even, that's even fucked. worse. <laughs> need a cone of shame. Somebody put a cone of shame on his Discord icon. Get him out of here. <laughs> Sit in a corner. No, think just, about what he's done. It, no, just in the video. Just give me a frame of just a polish. Yeah, can you edit, can you edit like, a, a cone of shame onto him yeah, for the next, yeah, like, totally. five minutes or yeah. so? Perfect. Uh-huh. Perfect. Yeah. Uh-huh. What? <laughs> Whenever I ask Jake to edit something in, he never does it. And then it's like, yeah, for sure I'll do it. When somebody else asks. Sounds That's like a new problem, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but to answer your question, you know, the worst part about leaving for tour is leaving my dog. I don't like mm. leaving my dog. You know, my boyfriend, like, whatever. Like, leaving my dog. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Yeah. What what about bringing the dog on tour? Ooh, no, I, I would, I would, but he's kind of a psychopath. Like when he needs to meet new people, when he meets new people, there's a ten minute period of him just going. Bah! <laughs> <laughs> so it's like him meet, and like we meet a lot of new people every day. So like, yeah. I just don't think he could do it. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, you just yeah. lose all sensibility and control. <laughs> it, was, it was worth a shot. Yeah. <laughs> and plus, I couldn't imagine that size dog in uh in our van. Like she'd have to keep it in her bunk, you know. I was gonna say we would we would have to like be in a bus or something. I thought that's the only way I would do it is like in a bus scenario. What type of dog is it? He's a pity. Oh yeah, then yeah, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pity. He's a pity. Just get weird. Pitties. I love pities. <laughs> pities get a bad rep, and that's just from people who've never owned a pity. He's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's how i talk to him so every time i do that he looks at me like what do you want bitch <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking kidding me right now <laughs> you, you're embarrassing me in front of all these people <laughs> oh i'm so off you're embarrassing like, mom, me <laughs> stop. you're not like the like mom using all the cool slang like trying to be like <laughs> trying to be tight that's me <laughs> trying, to, trying to be hip with the newer generation you know <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mickett, I just wanted to point out that your mom went on a liking spree of our band's Facebook page today. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 12 whole scrolls of just likes from your mom. <laughs> That's awesome. She's a good, she's a wonderful woman. She deserves the world. I can say I've had similar experiences before. My dad just randomly finding my Twitter account every few weeks and liking every single tweet I've made. Oh, that's scary. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I noticed that when I read some uh, likes like, from him. It doesn't matter no. if it's just like a random, if it's a reply to just some random stranger, my dad will find that tweet and like it. If it's, it just happens. <laughs> you know what, you I'm, know randomly, like, I'm randomly at work and I just suddenly get five notifications. I'm like, oh, that's Jake's dad. <laughs> yeah, I can. I cannot think of a worse social media for my parents to mind, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm, Fucking unhinged on Twitter, okay? It gets weird yeah. on that. 
Who yeah. let your parents on Twitter? What's up with that? Yeah, You're, they're way they're way too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Jake's dad. Shout out Mickett's mom. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. Tori. <laughs> so I guess. This next question is mostly uh, directed at you, Kaylee, but I guess make it too to an extent, depending on how you're feeling. Um, oh, I remember I saw something, Kaylee, that you'd mentioned that you almost gave up during COVID. Oh yeah, um, and I just wanted to ask you about that. Like, like what made you want to give up on music, and, and what gave you the motivation to continue? Oh man, um. Yeah, so it was like the first year or so. It was like 2020. So it was like, it was like the end of 2020. Or, well, fuck, maybe it was like mid-2020. Um, there was just a lot happening. I moved to Tennessee, um, which kind of like separated the guys and us. So it was like yeah. we didn't see each other as much. Um, I started school. So then I started kind of contemplating if like music is what I wanted. Is that like what I wanted to do? Is that is that what I wanted in life? Um, we still had the obligation of one more record to Smart Punk. And we had one written. So it's just kind of like, you know what, like we put the record off for a year because of COVID. Um, like we were going to put it out, uh, like literally when, when COVID hit, like we were pretty much supposed to put it out like that summer. And so we pushed it for a year. And um, I was like in Tennessee and I was just kind of like alone. And like we hadn't we dropped music, like we hadn't toured, we hadn't done anything. Like I just kind of felt like I was existing and like my entire life had been music my existence my soul my entirety of my life had been music so and like to like have that entirety of your existence ripped away it like really puts you puts an entire like reality into your like your peripheral that you never really thought to even consider um and with me doing school I was like man like is this what I want is like is music what I need to do is this what I want but we owe Smart Parker record and we already had it done. So I was like, you know what? Like, let's just put it out. We'll see how it goes. You know, like no harm, no foul. Right. Um, and um, we put it out and like, I mean, it did, it did pretty good. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll keep going. And then um, it was 21 and, you know, the hope of everything starting to come back up started happening. We got to tour. Um, and so it kind of, I kind of started like leaking my soul kind of like started like leaking back into it. Mm. Um, and I was just like, you know what? Like, I'm like, I'm a fool. I'm so, we're so close. Like we're literally so close. Like we're right here. Like if I give up now, I wasted so much time, so much time that like could have been spent doing other things. I like just wasted it because we're right here. It's like it's like getting to the edge of the cliff to go skydiving and then not jumping off. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Or, yeah. I guess you call that cliff jumping, whatever. Um but still like like it's just like so silly, you know? It's like going bungee jumping and getting all that shit on you and then going like, yeah, fuck that. Right. Like <laughs> we were right there. We we're fucking we were right there. And I knew we were and I just like I was like, you know what? If I don't keep going, I'm going to regret it and I know I'm going to regret it. <laughs> so yeah i kept i kept going and got dark matter and like you know now we're cool like it <laughs> uh you know what's what's crazy about this is that i think you know i can't obviously directly speak for everybody but like i feel like a lot of musicians went through this at the time just because mm. like really it's something about as soon as you step away from all the hard work, all the sacrifice, all the things that you've done in music just to try and get a glimpse of how crazy and awesome it could be at the top. As soon as you like settle down, you're like, oh, okay, this is, this is relatively easier. But then it's like, you know, when we started touring again, you realize like, wow, easy isn't always the move, you know? It isn't. Agreed. Yeah. And it's, you know, I think, you know, I can speak for myself, but like, uh, I, I definitely had this feeling at one point because I started going to school as well. And like, God, school is, sucks. And yeah. have, yeah. Yeah. Having job just graduated can confirm. Yeah. See, that's, that's the part that was hard for me. Is I fucking love school. I absolutely love it. I love learning. And that's why I was having such like a mental um, hardship because like 
I found this love in, in education and like learning new things that I never thought mm. about I would enjoy. And that's where it kind of tore me in half because I was like, well, shit, like I like this, but I also really like this. Right. <laughs> yeah. But then I kind of had this like epiphany of like, man, like why do I have to choose one or the other? Why can't I just do both? There's no reason I, there's no reason I have to choose. So, yeah. And see, for me, like I love learning. So I'm on the same page. But like, I knew where it was going. It didn't involve me. Like, I, I mean, I'm doing mechanical engineering. So it was obviously going to end up being something kind of cool. But like, I would end up working in a shop for somebody making something that's probably tight. Like, it would have been great if I was like a Disney Imagineer. That would have been awesome, you know? But like, it's not like when we go to a venue and someone's like, oh my God, it's you. Like, you're never going to show up at work at <laughs> Disney Imagineering and have that ever happen. Yeah. And it's so disheartening. Like I could just be a part of the machine. Yeah. yeah and I, th I think that makes complete sense. And just feeling, I, I feel like uh, I'm, you know, we've ne I've never had anybody come up to me in the street and be like, Oh yeah, you're that guy from that podcast, you know, but <laughs> like, I, I feel like that would be such a cool thing. Like exactly. Like you said, like not, not feeling like you're, you're different and you didn't just, live life to exist i guess type of thing like it's yeah 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 no i absolutely get what you mean yeah like once you you know like i was saying before it's like once you once you get a small taste of what how cool it could be you're like oh man everything else is not as cool <laughs> it's like if, if you end up working at that shop you're like probably making an impact on other people's lives but like going out and like touring and meeting these people like you get to see that impact like face to face yeah yeah more or less because it's like you think about like all the people who have like you know cool uh cool machinery that exists or cool uh you know i guess in, in kaylee's case like cool coding it's like i don't know who any of the people who and made any of the cool stuff at apple is because it's you know definitely not the guy who started it and you know like look at tesla like he, he didn't actually build those things by his hands you know? I mean, it's like a group thing, I guess, really. I mean, that yeah. kind of goes for, like, our band, though, if you think about it. Like, like, the credit goes to, like, the face, even though the face didn't actually technically make it. Yeah, kind of. I mean, we're kind of the face, though, you know? Yeah, look at this fucking face. Look at that. Your face. Look at all these <laughs> fucking faces. I like the idea that you're talking to your dog. Like, fucking face. Your dog's looking at you like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cool? Are you going to give me a fucking treat? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess kind of segueing off of that is that, you know, meeting, meeting people on tour, you know, and fans and stuff like that, has there been, in as much capacity as you're able to share, um, have there been any moments where people have come up to you and, like, shared their experiences with your music in a way that's, like, touched you or changed you? all the time oh, yeah i was gonna say <laughs> all the time yeah i mean i feel like <clears throat> i brought a, I like i personally write a lot of like, mental health and stuff just because mm. that's who i am and that's like i don't i don't necessarily write my music for other people i write it for myself and other people kind of just happen to connect with it which is great um so it like it runs in the scenario of people like uh finding connection with my music in sometimes ways that i didn't intend um like I could write a song about um, me hating myself and someone will be like, oh, well, this guy and like they'll connect it in, in another completely different way. And, and I just find that beautiful. And it's kind of one of the reasons I kind of keep what the songs are about. For the most part, I try to keep them to myself because I just think it's kind of beautiful to let people like exist in the music for what it is and not try to overcomplicate it by some random meaning that doesn't really necessarily matter because at the end of the day, it's like the words that you're hearing and the words that make sense to you and the words that like connect to you are the words that matter. Like what, whether the song is about whatever it is about, it doesn't really matter. So it's like, what, let's say, what do they call that? It's like artistic interpretation or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. 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 So uh, like for me, it's like I all the time so much, um, especially when we play songs like to Dom, um, you know, which is mm -hmm. about suicide and um, like to Layla, 
which is about like my sister's struggle with having children and um, how we, you know, obviously we're given uh, a beautiful soul, um, Layla, uh, you know, those, those songs, especially whenever we play those live, like, which we have at least played one or one or the other on most tours. Um, you know, I, there's at least one person crying on my shoulder every night mm. and like explaining their story. And like, that's freaking beautiful. Like the fact that like my music is impacting people so hard that they can come up to a random fucking stranger and tell them their whole story. Like that we have had that sort of impact on people is like, is so beautiful to me. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I I can't listen to Two Dom anymore because I just it just makes me so sad every time. I know it breaks my heart too. You should see when I play it. When I still play. I like tear up every time. It's fucking hard, man. Rough. <laughs> like Roche, rough. <laughs> I mean, like I can't really blame you for that though, given like what the song is about and like how personal. Yeah. It is. So it is extremely personal. Um. So when I try to like explain it before, it's like sometimes it's kind of hard to, hard to get out. Like Kalayla was a little different. Like it was a song more about hope, and I mean, so is to Dom though. But like Layla was literally about hope and joy and like the beauty of life and like being a new soul and getting to experience new things and et cetera. Whereas like to Dom, it was like accepting what life has given you and and moving with it. It's like this is this is life, unfortunately, and like no matter what you do, it sucks. But like it at the end of the day, if you really take a step back and like really look at what your life is, like you can find the beauty in it. So it's like two very emotional songs for two, for, for two very, very different reasons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I feel, like, I feel like I remember you guys saying that you were going to focus on like singles in the near future and not like making we, another album. Um, we are. Yeah. But do you think like two Dom and two Layla, do you think there's like a third variation of that? song yeah yeah there is um i have another um one that i really want to write about to a friend of mine um who has struggled for and still to this day struggles for addiction and um drug abuse and i think that will more than likely be the next one um mm -hmm. i mean those songs are a moment or like in a way like a moment for me to express emotions from other people in a way that they cannot if that makes sense like mm -hmm. a lot of no, those no, both no. those songs i i talked to the people that i was writing them about obviously not i wasn't talking to layla she wasn't born but um <laughs> yeah like i had conversations with them and expressed and saw the pain the, all of that i saw that and so those songs aren't even anything to do with me but i wrote them from an outside perspective to to give a to let those people have a source of emotion, like emotional release through mu my music, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I yeah. Feel, I, I, I feel like Two Dom and Two Leo is kind of like, I, I feel like that's something like that I associate with you guys as a band, like a lot. Like that type mm -hmm. of song always like being like the closer of the album. Yep. And it um, probably always, it probably will always be that way. Mm -hmm. It is like, an, I, it's I can't an think of another band that really does something like that. Like I'm sure there probably yeah. is another band out there, but it like those two songs have definitely stuck with me more than others that I could think of. Nope, it's just us. <laughs> Fair enough. Honestly, take, that, take that credit. Well, I was about to say, yeah, I feel oh. like. Oh, <laughs> oh bye, Kylie. Wi-Fi. Welcome back. Yeah, Wi-Fi. Hey. Wi-Fi issues. Hello. Hello. Yeah. My, my 10 o'clock alarm went off. <laughs> it just completely disconnected me. <laughs> I was like, okay, sick. I thought your dog was like, I've had enough and just unplugged the router. <laughs> like, <laughs> He's like, I'm tired of this goddamn Pay attention to human. me now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I will say that there it's, it's extremely likely that we'll probably have a two somebody every single record until I run out of people. <laughs> Which there's a lot of people on planet Earth, so. No, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That, that there's a lot of planet Earth people. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess that's cool. Not two. No, yeah, actually, we, two. we need less. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> <laughs>
pull so, up about that one. Yeah, it, it's it's the, the next song. Be how we need less people. And we can title it to Ted Kaczynski. To to Thanos. <laughs> to Thanos. <laughs> yeah. So I guess kind of on that that same sort of note, you know, between like musical influences, personal experiences, emotions, relationships. Like, what aspects of y'all's personal lives do you feel like you you each draw from the most when, like, writing and creating music? Oh, my God. <laughs> it, for me, it ranges. Mm. Um, like, when I'm writing, I would say about half of our songs are about me and half are about other people. Or, like, other people's experiences that I just happen to hear through the grapevine and then I kind of, like, express it through in, in a, a different emotional output um like for example why on our last record that mm. song was not a, was not about me it had nothing to do with me it's actually about a friend of mine um misery memory was actually about our producer john espy and the girl that he was like super obsessed with they didn't end up together um uh and sometimes like i just like draw i i, I draw from different spectrums because like my life has been chaotic and a lot of um different crazy realms but so is everyone else's yeah and i just i just think there's so much beauty in life and like stories that i couldn't tell myself because i didn't experience it and like getting to write about other people's experiences is something i've i have found so much joy in so yeah for me it's kind of kind of all over all over the place um on the music side, because I do, you know, I guess I just do most of the instrumental stuff. Um, yeah. And I know that the focus is always on what, what are the lyrics, you know, because I feel like as people, we really, you know, that's the only thing that most people can really attach themselves to, you know, like there's only a certain percentage of people who actually even write music, you know. Um, but it's, it's tough because it's like, I never, I never grew up with really anything, right? Like literally mm -hmm. nothing. Um, so it's like every time we go into the studio, like I know music wise, it always feels like people are like, all right, let's just write a banger. Like we just need a song that everyone's going to love. Right. But it's more like for me personally, I always feel like if I don't write something that gives a tone that emotionally hits people, because you can just write anything. And if the, you know, if the vocals are pretty good, most of the time, Hey, we can get by on that, you know, mm. but if you don't feel like it from just hearing the music, then it's not right. And like I said, being somebody who grew up with nothing, like if I don't give somebody a little bit of something out of the music, then I didn't do my job correctly. You know? Yeah. I definitely think there's a level of um, instrumental ship. Instru that word? <laughs> In instrumentation ship? In, yeah. In it's it's sure. It's it's not even, uh, that's, is that even a word? I don't know. But <laughs> honestly, I, it, it, I could like be, it could be a fake word, but who cares? <laughs> I, like, I, I definitely like your word better than my word. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, it, I think it, like at the end of the day, like, you, like make it said, like the vocals matter, but like if the instrumental doesn't give the emotional aspect that say, the vocals does, like I feel like you can get, it can get lost in translation. Like the instrumental is as important as mm. the vocal in a sense. Um, and a lot of people don't even realize it. They're like, ooh, look, those are some cool lyrics and that's a nice melody. And I'm like, yeah, but it connects because of the music. Right. Yep. Like yeah. there is a layer of musicianship that like, or what did you call? Instrumentation <laughs> yeah. I, I need that's to fact check. I need to fact check if that's actually a word. Hold on. <laughs> no, There's word. no way it is. <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> If it is, it shouldn't be. <laughs> what? Instrument it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Instrumental. Uh, Google's not pulling up a definition for the word, so it's probably fake. But it's perfect. So, dang, we've been lied to. We, we've got full rights. Everybody here. Yep. Everybody here's got shared full rights to instrumentation. <laughs> shit. <laughs> someone, 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 go take the goddamn Instagram page. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got the Twitter account. We're moving. We're yeah. making big strides. I want to see someone, one, one, one someone of a penny every time someone says it. Exactly. Someone, someone one day might might pay us a thousand dollars for the domain name. So hurry up, get it. <laughs> I like that idea. Somebody along the line is just like instrumentation ships a word, and I just immediately like bust down their door, like, "Where's my fucking penny? Give me my royalties now." <laughs> 
Give me my goddamn money. <laughs> <laughs> all right i think to start winding down this podcast I, I got one last question i want to ask i don't know about you three but what music have you guys been listening to lately what, what's been on rotation nothing but thieves sleep token yes oh we got we got the a new sleep token fan and jacob over the here. new Ooh. the new lights record was a bomb yes oh my goodness it's so good an absolute bop I've been listening to this girl. I'm going to probably butcher this. Her name's Rita Pius. She's a, um, a she sings like Spanish styled music. Um, like you'd probably hear it in an elevator or something. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. She's fantastic. Like beautiful horns and, 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 and trumpets and, and, oh, you, it's guitar work. It's beautiful. So love her. Um, nothing more. Oh, nothing more. Yeah, nothing yes. more. Yes. Um, so we haven't kind of jamming the new Ram sign, to be honest. Just a little here and there. Ooh, um, okay. <clears throat> Harry Styles' new song. You know, we're not the same as you. Know, that song slaps. Um, I need to get yeah. to that album. I need to get uh, to Harry's a, house. There's a band from England called Fickle Friends that I'm obsessed with. Ooh, I just found them this I, year. Um, uh, that, that band popped up in my YouTube recommended a few weeks ago. I, I remember hearing like one Freaking, or two songs of them. I, was, I haven't ooh, listened to more of them, but I'm curious. Love them. More. Love them. The whole record, Are We Gonna Be All Right? Wonderful. Fantastic. It's a pair of fun. Um, I've been listening um, to a lot of Bad Omens. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we have to love the Bad Omens record. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Uh, it's so and then good. for some reason, uh, the other day, it was like, I think I spent like, I was driving for like two hours and I just listened to 21 Pilots. Like, that was it. Yeah, um, I slap. That's slapper. Yeah, I'm really trying to like dissect some things from their music that I want to try to kind of apply to Rivals. So I know that production on Scaled and Icy was really good on Redecorate, especially. That song is incredible. Oh, Redecorate was the only song I'm pretty sure in a mate and a Um, fuck, maybe not. It was one of the only ones in a minor key. And Redecorate was literally one of the best. Ones. I don't understand why that song wasn't. Out. Derek, wasn't that song like in your top ten songs? Yeah, it was my yeah. number three song yeah. last year. Yeah, <laughs> it, literally, it literally made me cry multiple times. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I remember listening to the rest of that record and being like, "Yeah, whatever, it's fine." And then Redecorate came out of nowhere, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, Redecorate. Oh yeah. Such a pop. <laughs> what? Fuck! I'm gonna listen to that. <laughs> We're done here. I need, I, I need my fix. <laughs> I, I need my like, fix. Ah. Tap me in. Tap me in, yeah, exactly. <laughs> somebody, somebody Canadian sigh at me immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob. Jacob, that's <laughs> you. As a resident yes. Canadian, <laughs> this is your cue, buddy. It's your time to shine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I any guess, um, actually, to go off that, is there any, like, up-and-coming bands that you guys want to shout out? Um Ah, oh, our smaller, our smaller baby, bands on our eyes. babies, our babies and glimmers. Check them out. They're fucking litty, litty, litty. Um, our boy Josh Landry, he's at my house right now. Actually, the weirdest thing happened. Oh my god, I'm on a podcast, so I'm explaining something that weird happened today. <laughs> okay, I get, what? I get a text from Sebastian, my bass player, who's not in here. He goes, "Dude, we should seriously consider touring with this guy. His voice is absolutely phenomenal." And he sends me a screenshot. Shot a scratch, scratch, scratch. I can speak. He sends me a screenshot of a Spotify, and I was like, "No fucking way!" So I took a video, and I was like, "Seb, it's really funny that you're gonna go here. Go ahead and send me this guy's profile when he's literally sitting in my car." And I showed off Josh Landry sitting in my back seat, and I was like, "What are the freaking odds?" <laughs> like, I did not post him. I did not post he was with us. He has not posted that he's with us. I was like, what in the universe? What the hell? How no, weird crazy. is that? What in the pterodactyl that's... porn? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what in Canadian sigh, man? <laughs> is that what I am now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, man. I, don't, I just several yeah. times this year and it's not gonna stop. Yep. Every every time we do one of these, he gets a new name. <laughs> every time he sighs, it snows. <laughs> oh god, Canada's <laughs> fucked this. Yeah. It's like a magic elf. Dude, we, had, we had a big storm yesterday. It wasn't snowing, but 
Did you sigh? Yeah, yeah. was it you? Well, the huh? lights went out, yeah. <laughs> well, there we That's go. It. There's a connection. We've, we've got our man. That's it. Who, who oh, needs no, whatever the National Weather Institute of Canada, if that's even what it's called, when you can have a Jacob sigh to just... Yeah, we're just going to be yeah. like, yo, Jacob, how many times do you sigh today? And he's going to be like, I don't know, like 10 or 12, I'll be like, perfect. Six inches of snow no. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's hey, actually... Hey, how many times you sighed today? And he's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Instant lightning strike in the background. Like, oh, God, <laughs> what have you done? He has too much power. <laughs> We underestimated him. <laughs> he scoffs uh, a he, little too much and a hurricane hits. Like now he's, it's in, now, he's, now he's in some Canadian bunker and they're testing on him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, gotta, we gotta stop him before he brings pterodactyls back to life. <laughs> exactly. He's gone way too far and I love it. <laughs> Created like a what we're here for. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we, like that's exactly it. We've got, the, we've got the hive mind multiverse. <laughs> I like this. We were expanding the lore. <laughs> and at the mm. center of it, Derek is still having a stroke. Every episode, man. Oh, I kept it together this time. I kept it together. I, I got all my words out. I got all my words out. That for context, that about, about, about in editing. I have the yeah. power, you know. <laughs> just, give, just give me a <laughs> stutter in post. It's fine. <laughs> He's just over here like... <laughs> exactly. I'm like, yeah, I did good this episode. You... And Jake's like, that's what you think. And <laughs> He's... <laughs> He's That's manipulating the audio as we speak. Kaylee, were you actively trying to stutter there, or was that your connection? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Can you oh, I did a not. little bit as you were saying that? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I did not stutter. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Justin, Derek, Jacob, any last questions you guys want to throw out there? You got throw everything them. I wanted to. Throw them at me. What do you got? Derek, Derek. Derek. Oh, I guess I guess I want to know, and I'm sure you get this question a lot, but like, do you guys have a favorite rival song? Oh, uh, <laughs> haven't had to answer this question in a long time, actually. Yeah, that's a good question. It's hard because I like them differently. Like some songs, I don't per se like listening to, but I love performing them. What would be an example? Like reflection, I love playing that song. Live. Okay, but like I haven't listened to it. Like I actually couldn't even tell you. Like, <laughs> it's probably been a few years, <laughs> but I play it all the time. <laughs> she's um, she's disappearing into the background. It's fading away. Just, yeah. What are you? What's happening? Am I dying? <laughs> <laughs> We're losing going, it. All right. I'm going towards the light. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, I, you know, there's some songs that I don't enjoy playing live, <laughs> but I do, because I have to. Um, favorite song. Mickey, you have one? A favorite song. Wait, wait, so are we talking about just to listen to or to play? We, we just split it up into two categories. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that they're very different categories. Yeah, because that's two very different things. Um, I think I really like playing Fake Rich live. Uh, see, I, you know what's funny is I don't so much because I never stop singing so I don't get to do anything fun I just kind of stand there because I'm so focused on like making sure that I'm not missing things oh that's your fault <laughs> it, it, you did that to yourself <laughs> damn it. whereas like I like reflection because like I get breaks and like I get to like you know go hard mm. um, like, super, super nova and I actually get to get into it mm. Yeah, I really like listening to Supernova. Me too. I do like, real... but I you know, like, like I feel like Super... Supernova might be one that I don't. I enjoy listening to live, like, and in on record, and I actually do like playing it with it too. So maybe that one's up there. Yeah, it's a pretty solid song overall. To be yeah. honest. Give me some time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. Is there one of our songs that you is your favorite? Oh shit! <laughs> I probably should have thought of that answer before I asked, in case you turned it back <laughs> yeah. on me. Get fucked. Honestly, <laughs> probably either change things or are you listening? Mm, yeah, are you listening to me? We well, actually it was called Broken Home for a time, and I was like, oh, 
such a cliche ass name. <laughs> I like. I will say I like. Are you listening a lot more than Broken Home? So I. Yeah, I think yeah. you made the. Uh, the good the right choice. choice. Yeah. And I guess I also have to give a shout out to Over It because that was the first song years I ever heard like four years ago, and I, you know that's always that's always a special one. Man, I cannot stand like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we do this thing where we jump live, and every time we mm -hmm. do it, I feel like such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the energy it, was definitely here, felt when I saw it live. So like, here no. we go again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's crazy is that like uh, people are starting to jump with us more now, but it was like back in the day, I felt like I was just hopping in front of people. Like it was a weird <laughs> 80s. <laughs> it was like, I felt like I was like up on a pedestal and they were just like, look at her jump. Dang, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. in that like 1920s accent. Oh, shit. <laughs> It's like stuff like that in my head that's like I could never be like a stage performer like that. That that's why I'm behind the camera. That's what that's why I want to do like behind the camera stuff. I could never be in front of a stage like that and just like jumping by myself. Now people are now people are gonna be like, oh snap, look at him camera, look at him go. Hangly <laughs> <laughs> my oh. yeah, she. Yeah. Look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> Hot damn. What in the hell has happened here? That, that's where you draw the line? Pterodactyl porn was fun. We draw the line at the 1920s accent? Like, that's... That's the barrier. Meh, pterodactyl porn. See, meh. The laugh. So it seems we've come oh, full man. circle. We have. We've come full yeah. circle. Yeah, circle of my hand. Weird-ass circle of life, but we've made it. <laughs> it might not even be like a... Regular ass circle. There, there might be some no. irregularities. It's, it's, it's in like the circle, it's some fucked it... up oval. We hit the fucked <laughs> up oval of life. It's, it's what makes you come. <laughs> <It's> this... <laughs> uh, all right, God. Let, let's get this episode wrapped up. Thank you guys for joining us for this episode. This Wait, was hold on. Uh, we got What's more. Up? Only, only two of you answered the question about what your favorite song. That is oh, true. Okay, okay, right. Um, I was joking okay with Derek asking. <laughs> <laughs> You've done. Damn, you, you caught yeah, me sly trying to. You caught me sly trying to skip that one. All right. Um, I think this is. I got a rotation of probably like a top three between okay. uh, "Damn Derek. Soul," uh, mm -hmm. "Sad Looks Pretty on Me," and "Are You Listening?" I love that. Have you noticed? I mean, I mean, Mickey, have you ever noticed? Uh, how there's everybody has like such different favorite songs by us. Yeah, it's it's real strange how like some of the songs I think that literally no one will ever like. People are like, mm -hmm. if you didn't make this song, it wouldn't have changed my life. And I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> You're like, that almost didn't make the record. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of pressure. <laughs> oh, Justin, uh, Justin's internet just cut out. He's gone. We lost him. He didn't want to answer. Yeah, <laughs> too much pressure. Welcome back, Justin. Nice <laughs> try, Justin. Did he not answer? He did, and we think he's dodging the question. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm really I'll upset go. that Derek got us in this in this position because now yeah. we can't pick. <laughs> I'll, I'll give a top okay, three, top, like Jake. I, I was gonna say top top three. It. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> go ahead, Justin. Wait, who just signed? Me. It got me with <laughs> <I was him>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking out the window right now. I'm not seeing any pterodactyls. I think we're safe. <laughs> Lavenders said it looks pretty on me and change things. Yeah, buddy. All right. We got some change things loves in this call. I love that song. So yeah, much. it's a bot. Yeah. I wish it got more hype, man. It was a, it was when we wrote it in studio. I was so hyped. I was like, man, this is cool. I feel like it's one of the more unique rival songs yeah. that I've heard. A hundred percent. It was like such a vibe when we wrote it. And I remember, I remember we were a little drunky. When we, um, <laughs> <laughs> the best uh, part. Like we, um, yeah, it was, it was a, it was the, it was, it was your bop. Where the hell? <laughs> Twitched a bop before Christmas. When I don't know how to <laughs> You're not a bop with stone, you're not even like. 
Okay, we can wrap it up. I'm, we can. Wrap it up. <laughs> Jacob, you need your top three. Question. Jacob, no, we're not right, going right, to let right, Jacob right. out of this one. It's not at this it's, point. It's fake rich alkaline. That looks pretty yummy. There you go. Love it. There we go. There, there was alkaline. a lot of love for um, "Sad Looks Pretty on Me" as an album, just across all of us. Yeah, well, thanks, guys. It, it was uh, we put it out at such a weird moment, so like, it was kind of hard for us to like gauge um, fan love because we didn't get to tour on it. So they were like, "This was like the first time we got to like tour on the record and like got to see people singing the words back and like um, that was like it just we missed all that. So like we kind of just didn't gauge." the impact that sad really had on like our, like not only our fan base, but even our new fan base. Um, so it, it is nice to hear that people give a shit about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the craziest thing is like going back on tour and people like knowing the words and being like, Oh, we thought this just kind of fell to the Died. Voice. Yeah. <laughs> so, but thanks guys. Thanks for having us today. It was fun. Yeah. yeah this was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm glad we finally made this happen after <laughs> scheduling troubles that we've had over the past <laughs> few weeks and whatnot but yeah um, it just started it just started raining here so uh, did you sigh it was jacob jacob now i'm like blamed for everything dude yep. sigh it's, more. <laughs> quit, be, quit being canadian we won't have this problem my favorite part is he's so nice about it most people would be like no don't say that it's just like <laughs> and that's how oh, we know that he's a proper canadian exactly <laughs> staying true to his twer- roots he's a two canadian Hey, you're a true Canadian. Where are you from in in Canada? Uh, near Toronto. Nice. Okay, I, I was gonna say I love I love Canada. I thought about moving there a few times. So, are you no, gonna tour here though? <laughs> oh, there's the question. <laughs> that is uh, an accurate question. Do you uh, all live? In Canada? Do you all live in Canada? No, just no, me. No, no, just, no, just him. Not. Yeah, Derek so where, where and are you? Are... Derek and I are both in Virginia, and I'm in Connecticut. Oh. So. Which is real oh unfortunate my. that I found I Have found you... out literally a week ago that you guys were both in Richmond uh, and Virginia Beach, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, I couldn't mm-hmm. go to either one. It's okay. We'll just go fuck ourselves. <laughs> you guys can come back. <laughs> I'm still gonna be here. Like I've yeah exactly. I I couldn't make it because of work related reasons, but I would have loved to see you guys. And so come back to Richmond as soon as possible. Oh. I've seen you guys here once. I want to see you again. So have you guys ever met each other? Yeah, uh, no, Justin we, we, and I have. The rest yeah. of us haven't. The four of us have I'm not met up in it. person yet. It's a work Somehow. in progress. So, how did you meet? Uh, all collectively. Well, yeah, Minecraft. <laughs> 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 everybody, everybody, everybody hesitated for a second. It's like, is it going to make me sound like a fucking loser? Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jacob started it, really. Yeah. I did. Not I'm, Jacob. No, Jake. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Jake. I'm. <laughs> Yeah, wait. But we've, one we've, of you uh, is named Jake, and the other one's name is Jacob. Yes, yes. yes. So Jacob, Justin, and just to confuse Jake. you. Yeah, yeah. I'm the only <laughs> non-J name. I'm the only non-walking red flag. John <laughs> Jacob, you want to That was yes. Yo, we need that parody immediately. I'll say that was okay. the best answer. Like, oh, you started it, and he's like, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so to, to answer question. the question, just kind of summarize it. Um, Jake had a radio show going all throughout college for about two and a half, three years, I think. And then COVID um, and shut it down. COVID shut it down in the middle of the semester. Um, he was like, hey, I'm going to do a live stream where I just talk about music and shit. Who wants to join? And the three <laughs> of us were just like, hey, fuck it. Sounds like a good idea. Let's see where it goes. Didn't turn to a live stream. Well, kind of does. Um, but it did turn into the podcast, which has been going on for two two years. Two years and that's yeah. a sobering thought. A little over two years. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, and because we'd known each other for years prior and like had bonded over our shared love of like rock music and metal music and all that. And so in Minecraft. Yeah, and in Minecraft. Minecraft. Well, we've known each other on Minecraft for much longer than that. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, no. It's it, I mean, it's just been neat to have that sort of connect. It's always nice to have connections with people who you can share interests with, especially because I feel like Maybe not so as much for, you know, Minecraft because it's the best selling game of all time. But like there aren't a lot of people out there that that really I feel like kind of appreciate or it's harder to find them the same kind of music that we love. So to have a group of people who can just get together and talk about 
everything that we have a shared passion for you know it's it's awesome it gives us the opportunity to to meet and talk to amazing musicians like you guys and get to know more yeah. about the music we love so you know what's crazy if this was 50 years ago you guys probably would have never met yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. I have no fucking clue no. he existed. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe Justin and Derek, you two, would have like found each other at like a grocery oh, sure. store or something. <laughs> if I was two hours away in a random grocery store and decided that I wanted to approach Justin, then yes, maybe. Maybe I would have been friends with him. <laughs> He's like, that guy? I'm going to approach him. <laughs> I just, he speaks I just to have me. a feeling. I have, a mo I have an idea. I'm a feeling. <laughs> And I go up to Justin. I'm like, "Hey, I've never met you. I felt really drawn to you." And he's just staring at me like, "Why would you be? Why would you be down here in Virginia Beach?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, thank um... you. I don't want any of your trust. <laughs> yeah, just, just internally <laughs> screaming like, "Ah!" <laughs> <laughs> oh well, thank you guys for having us. It's been fun. Thank you guys for joining us on this episode. This was a wild yeah. episode for sure. <laughs> Uh, you I told you we don't do casual. Yeah. <laughs> it was my favorite, I think, we've done so far. But, Easily. yeah, no. All so, right, guys. Uh, since we're Let's at the end of the episode, off. do you guys want to shill socials one last time in case people yes! skipped it at the beginning? Check yeah. us out. We, we are rivals. We, we're we pretty cool, I guess. We are on TikTok, the Instagram, the Spotify. It's all at we are RVLS. We are rivals. Um, and there's no the in it. It's just just rivals. So. <laughs> and then if you want to follow us at the podcast, uh, at Hive Mind Radio underscore on Instagram and Twitter, Hive Mind Radio recap on Spotify. And uh, the Hive Mind Radio I mean, did he channel, just disappear so. for anybody else? Is he just like fucking gone? <laughs> okay. No, he's talking. What? What? What is happening what? right now? <laughs> did I just what? die? Was that my internet? Derek. I think Derek's having a stroke. Yes. <laughs> what happened? Hey, shit. <laughs> Dude, I made it to the last 30 seconds. Jake, Jake, Jake said, hi, my Brit. And he cut out, and I was like, oh, no, not him, too. And then I heard what? everybody so sped up at, like, two times speed at once. And I was like, oh, fuck. Like, it's me. I, I'm the asshole. <laughs> oh, shit. The episode wouldn't have ended any other way, to be honest. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, it is what it is. Derek, I'm disappointed in you. Man, I'm gonna say that, man. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna end this episode before Jacob sighs one last time. Thank you guys for joining us once again. Thank you to anyone out there that's listened, and we'll see you with our next episode at some point in the future. Remember, check out pterodactyl porn. Facts. <laughs> if you gain nothing else from today, if you're over the age of 18. <laughs> oh yes, please. We only it's adult <laughs> stuff. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Justin's internet cut out again. Yo, I, welcome back, Justin. It's always right, you know, good timing. Fuck it, fuck it. I'm just, I'm just stopping the recording there. I don't.